All right. A lot of people have asked how to generate leads in this market. So I'm going to share with you exactly what to do. I'm going to turn this into a number of videos that I'll post once a week with this being the first one. I don't know how many there'll be because sometimes I cover more than one subject in a video. But if you watch all of them, I'll tell you exactly what you need to do without paying for coaching to generate leads in this market. Let me put my phone on do not disturb because I know it's going to ring halfway through this video if I don't do it now. All right, here's what you do. Get an Excel spreadsheet and get a minimum of 100 real estate agents on the spreadsheet. Separate them into three categories, A, B, and C. A agents are those you've closed a loan with before, either on the buy side or sell side. So they were your uh, referral partner or they were a listing agent. B agents are those that you have spoken with or met with, but you've not closed a loan with. C agents are everybody else that meets minimum production standards. What are minimum production standards? Well, they're lower now than they were last year, that's for sure. I used to say 10 buy side transactions per year as a real estate agent. Then I dropped that to six. Depending on how many your loans, how many loans you're closing right now, you may want to drop that to four buy side transactions per year. Combined on the sell side, call it six transactions per year. The way you find that is by using MMI data. If you don't have MMI, ask your manager for access to MMI. If that fails, contact me and we can talk about me helping you vet your list for you. Okay. But you make sure that each person on there meets these minimum production standards. Once they're on your list, first name, last name, email address, cell phone number, and what company they work with, you're going to go out to Facebook and friend request every single one of them. They should all accept. You're going to have 20% of the list likely either not on Facebook or doesn't check it or only has a business page. That's okay. You'll get about 80% of the list as your Facebook friend. For the other ones that don't, uh, go to Instagram and or LinkedIn and connect there. They're always going to be on one social. Facebooks are preferred in this format. Once you're Facebook friends with them, go on and like and comment on one or two of their posts. Keep it low key, right? Don't be a stalker, don't be weird, don't be aggressive, don't be salesy, just be cool and like and comment on one or two of their posts. Once that's done, 48 hours later, text them your contact card. Go to your phone, go to your contacts, find yourself, click share contact, send them your card with the following script. Hey, Mr. Agent, this is Mike with Mortgage Company. I wanted to share my most up-to-date contact information with you because I'll be reaching out soon to talk about business and wanted you to know who was calling. That's it. Now, if it's an A or B agent, somebody you've known before, you change it up slightly by saying, I want to make sure you have my most up-to-date contact information stored. By the way, let's find a time to catch up what works for you. Right. That's it. Stop right there. That's enough work to literally take you a few weeks, but I'll be dropping the next stage of the process next Wednesday. If you want an expedited version of this where I tell you everything all at once, message me about some very affordable coaching options. I've got something to fit every budget, even if you're broke, because guess what? A lot of people are broke right now. All right. Hope this is useful. Talk to you soon.